Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Joni Young and I'm really excited to show you all today how to paint this big tall ship in a fantasy setting with stormy water. I'm gonna use some turquoise, some phthalo blue, and some pretty colors for the sky that I'm gonna make really exaggerated and swirly. We're gonna have lots and lots of fun with this today. So hit subscribe and let's get started. I'm gonna go over the colors, the brush, and the size canvas I'm using. I've got a number 30 filbert brush I'm gonna start this painting with. I've got a black primed 12 by 16 stretched canvas today. You could just use black paint and cover up a, a white canvas if you want, or you can purchase a black gessoed canvas already. Um, and I've got some titanium white, dioxazine purple, light blue violet, neon pink, and lemon yellow. I'll have a full list of the colors I'm using down below this video in the description box. So if you just click a little arrow down the bottom right, it'll pop up with links and a full list. Okay, so what I wanna do is concentrate on having a bright source of light right here. So probably the sun going down. So I'm gonna make this area just below halfway, this area right here, bright. So I'm gonna use white right here and just block that light area in, which is gonna fade after it dries, especially painting on a black canvas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some yellow and some pink along with that white on my brush. And I'm gonna start wrapping it around underneath and twisting over. And we're just gonna start a shape like this. I'm gonna continue to add pink and yellow and white. Sometimes just a little bit more of the pink. I think I accidentally picked up a little bit of blue in there, but that's okay. Look, it looks pretty. I'm gonna be adding blue anyway, so that's all right. And just continue along here. I'm gonna, without washing my brush off, take some blue. And I'll start blending it in. more pink and white and you don't have to paint yours in the same order as me you can actually choose any colors you want make your own pattern for your background I'm just gonna pull this down here that's gonna be covered up with water anyways a little bit more yellow, white, and pink. Well, if I don't add white right away, that's going to dry really dark with that black underneath. So to hold those colors, add some white. Or you could just paint on a white canvas, but I really love the dramatic effect painting on a black canvas has. I've got a number 16 here. So I'm just going to continue. Some colors. It's 
It's a pretty groovy looking sky so far. I think it's just so much fun to do this. And no matter what skill level you are, if you're just a beginner, you can definitely do this. And it's really good practice too for blending and perfecting your brush strokes. I'm going to go over some of that white there with the yellow and the pink and then to add just a little bit more. It's actually starting to come off of the canvas because it was still a little bit wet and I tried adding more wet paint to it, meaning I added some water on my brush and the paint. So. Sometimes that'll work against you. But I kind of time it just right. Just gonna get smaller, smaller. So then you can just start coming in and looping and then pulling back down. I'm gonna dry this all off in a minute and then come in with some more layers. So I build up more color. Add a little bit of blue here. Some more blue here. Pull, swirl, loop. A little bit of white. Come in from this side. Take a little bit more pink. I'm going to start to make it a little bit darker gradually down here. A little bit of blue mixed in with that pink. A little bit of water, some more blue, and a little bit of dioxazine purple now. Oops to the pink. more white. I'm going to go around and around a little bit more. We've got a little bit of yellow 
I picked up from off the edge here. Go ahead and use that. I'm going to take the rest of my pink, a little white. A little bit of blue. That's where that would be going over. We'll bring it over on this side. Some more purple. some Lewis orange. I'm going to mix up a little bit of white with it. And right here where I can see that canvas through there, I'm going to start here and go over and back down. The next color I'm going to use is Thalo Green by Arteza. Okay, I'm going to take my same filbert brush, a little bit of white, so you can see how much it brightens up with a little bit of white. And I'm going to start right here. I'm going to start to pull and sweep it into those darker colors down at the bottom. Use a little bit of white now. And just start to create shorter brush strokes, somewhat crisscrossing, long crisscross like this and down at the bottom I'm going to use more phthalo green and I'm going to paint on a scoop but an angle so on an angle but kind of scooping like this so we get that pull up and you feel the curve of the wave. And use a little bit more white. And just right under, I'm gonna leave a dark, dark line and I'm gonna start from there. and curve. A little bit more.
with a clean, damp brush. I'm gonna soften the two right where they meet, the dark and the lighter color. Just very lightly, back and forth, or up and down, or side to side, whatever. It's diagonal motion right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of each, phthalo and white. I'm gonna use the tip of my brush to sweep above and we'll add our, our ship in after and then come back up with, see what I did just here? Loop and down. That create creates some more movement in the water. Then I'm gonna get a lot of white on the tip of my brush to work with and I'm gonna go above the dark line so we're gonna start coming along here and you can be a little bit shaky. Cause that's gonna give you a little bit more. Of that natural kind of foamy look and movement to the water. And I'd kind of come and bring it down right about there. Take a little bit of the white and bring it down. So you're taking some of that white off or if it's dry, you can just go back. and add some more white. Okay, I'm gonna use a smaller filbert brush. I've got a number four. And I'm gonna use the white that I've got here. To just create these little lines of movement in the water. So I've got my handle pointing up like this. I'm take some more white. I'm gonna add it where I wanna create more of that sort of filtered, clear water look to my wave. And then you can go back and forth too. So this is kind of dry in here, so I'm gonna actually take a little bit of the phthalo green, mix it with my white to make a nice light and bright turquoise. I'm going to go right inside of it, close to that white, but then leaving the rest dark for the shadow. Bring this down lower. So we still have that dark line. And I'm going to go back into my phthalo green with just a little bit of white. And we're going to come underneath. And then pull some of that white off. The dark line is going to show up underneath or show through.
It just won't look black. I'm gonna come up with some more white now. Bring this up a little higher. And then I'm going to start adding those little bits of foam, neat little skinny lines, little wiggly lines and scoops. Pick a few in here that are going to be brighter. And then go over with another coat of white here. I'll add a little bit of Phthalo and white. At the very bottom, and just catch the edge, so the very bottom here. I'm going to add some cool tones in the water with a little bit of my light blue violet. So just those little squiggly lines. I'll go over a few of those. And add just a little bit here at the back. A little bit of purple. I'm going to start my ship right about here. I'm going to have a shadow right here. So I go up and then down. I'm going to add some phthalo green to it. And have it kind of just come sweeping up right behind that wave. Rinse my brush out and just gently Push that phthalo green up into the white and round it out a little bit there. And tap in a little bit of mist and spray. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with my ship. And I want the ship to be facing uh, the sun there. And I'm going to 
take purple with my orange, make a dark brown color. I'm going to come right down here on an angle. So a loop like this that gets a bit narrower at the top and then a little triangle at the top like that. Down. Having it get narrower. I just picked up a little bit of water on my brush so that I can spread that paint around a little easier. I'm just going to take that um, turquoise again and bring that dark line in, picking up a little bit of white in there. I'm just going to go back in, scoop under, scoop, and then down. A little bit of purple. On an angle, a little bit of water and orange and purple. A few lines like this will come off the edge so farther. Add a little bit of white to my orange and my purple. Just purple now so you can see a little bit better what's going on here. So we'll loop down two like that and then one across. Gonna bring that up a little bit and slightly scoop out on either end. And we're dab, dab, dab. Right down. We take some orange and white we're going to just start adding some lines for some windows you can just kind of 
tap like this. Dot, dot, dot. A few down here. And then the same on this side. I'm going to highlight the skinny line that kind of just goes up and then kind of disappears. And then dab, dab, dab. So you can just kind of make up your own design, make up your own ship, how you want your little windows or lights to look. Mixing up a little bit more purple and orange. I'm going to scoop, scoop up, that'll give us the wood look of the ship. And I'm going to do a few little dabs up here, dot, dot, dot. I'm going to take my phthalo green and my purple to make almost a black, but it's just such a pretty color. See that? I'm going to come in and add some shadows underneath these little windows. between these lines. I'm going to wash my brush out and switch over to my white and phthalo green again. I'm going to come in so I'm just going to quickly make this pop out a little bit, pop out there, pop out there. And then I want to bring some white right in this area here for a little bit more of a splash. And have a splash coming up here.
So we're going to bring the water up and then pull and sweep like this for some of it. And then right off the end of the boat here, another area where we're going to create that splash. Washing my brush out just to get most of that white out of it. Back into my phthalo green. I'm gonna add a little bit in here. More phthalo, darker. Really dark right in there. And a little bit back in there. Pull and sweep off with a little bit more of that phthalo. Some more white. Little scoops. Tap in a little bit of white right in here just to create a little bit more foam and waves crashing. Got some water coming out. A little bit of water spilling over here. And a few more. Little things on the side of the ship. Back over to the orange and the white.
kind of add a little bit of orange to my purple. Bring back that brown. There we go. I think we're ready to start working on our mast and sails. So I'm just going to use purple and white. I'll have the first one right about here. The line. In a scoop up from either side so almost a rectangle but then scoop then white and then I'm going to outline Bring that up a little further. Scoop that out. Scoop up and over. And have this one curl this way the same way that one does. And go right underneath for some shadows. And then I'm going to add the other one about two inches down. So I'm going to use my purple and my phthalo and a little bit of orange. I'm going to go just under this one again for some more shadow. Leave a space. So I'm doing the sails first because the mast goes in front of those. shadow there. So this one's going to be a little bigger. So it'll be right here. So about two inches down from that one. Curve. Make sure this line goes past where you add your sail. And then we'll add some little scoops, just sliding and scooping my brush like this. Then I'll take some white, purple, and orange. And I'll start from down here, go right inside. A little bit more white. I'm going to add a white line and steady my finger. Okay. 
add more white right there. Purple, green, a little bit of orange right underneath here where it should be the darkest. And then a few lines for some wrinkles in the sail. There's another little sail down here. It's going to meet with the end of the boat. So across, scoop, scoop, slightly bowed like that. Dark line on the top. line here, a couple lines like this, one on an angle like that. I take a little bit more purple, really make this darker in here. And then gently, very little pressure, pull and scoop around. Okay, now we're going to come in with our mast. So it's going to start about an inch up higher. Right down. A little bit of white on there. Add the white again on the top, just make it show up a little bit more. I'm going to scoop down, scoop, we'll have three scoops there. This one behind. Put this one back in front by going over with white.
bring down a scoop. Here we go. Apply more white on this one. Now that it's had a little bit of time to dry, I can go back with my highlights. I'm just going to go under it again. Same with this one. And then I'm going to add one more. We've got the line there, and then we're going to have one right here. Scoop, scoop. Then with some white, add a few little scoops just for those. folds in the material. Just gonna go underneath these again with my purple, orange, and phthalo. I'm gonna go redefine these lines wherever they need to be darker, a little bit thicker. Bring these ones down lower. few lines like that. Go over my white again. I'm going to tap, tap, tap again for those little lights, windows. switch over to one of my flat brushes. This one is a number 10 and I'm going to water down my purple and orange. Just get it really thin there on my brush and we're just going to add some skinny lines. We need some ropes a little line 
right there. And we'll see some, some through the material on the back. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Don't stress too much. It is artwork. Take my purple. Just go over any areas that need to be a little bit more defined, darker. Bring that up. And I'm going to add, take a little bit of my blue violet. I'm going to add a few lights right there. White and some orange. Maybe another one right in the middle. Use a little bit more white so it really shows up. Take a little bit of white. Then with a liner brush, this one is a number two. I'm just going to outline the little lights here, the lanterns, and a few other things on this side. I'm just painting these like I usually paint my little lamp posts, so a little triangle peak on top, and then a little narrower with a little line underneath for the base, and then pull down.
a little few more details here, orange and white. Bring this down, pull, scoop. I'm going to take a little bit more white here, a little bit of blue violet. Add some more little wiggles and squiggles here. white. Needed to wait for this to dry. Now it's dry and I can add that white in there. Some little dots. Mist spray. A little dab here with my finger to create some more spray. See how easy that is to do? And here as well. Anywhere a little bit of water will kind of come out of. my filbert brush, my number 14 again. Okay, so I'm just going to take my red here. And intensify some of the colors. So I'm taking this red and applying it over dry paint. We're creating more colors this way. It's filtering over. I'm going to now take a little bit of my lemon yellow. See if we'll make a, a really pretty turquoise. The blue and purple. Come back down in here. And down in here. We get close to the bow because I want it to be darker. Right behind the boat, that'll make it stand out more.
and a little bit of blue, blue violet right there. Some white. And I'm going to call this one done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and that you want to paint along. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and happy painting. Bye!